Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. And guys, today I'm working on some more housekeeping uh, here in the, in the garden. Uh, I am uh, placing wood chips. Um, as you can see here, I've got a barrel of wood chips and I am using it to mulch around this flower bed here. And as you can see, uh, the impatience uh, coming on really nicely. Lots of flowers in bloom right now. And uh, I'll be going from one bed to the other until I feel I've had enough of the day. Um, but uh, just wanted to come along and let you see uh, what I'm doing today. And that I'm not only using the wood chips in my vegetable garden, in the aisles and uh, around the flower beds. Um, and also I use wood chips at the very bottom of my raised beds uh, so that I don't have to use so much soil. Um, but I also use wood chips um, as a mulch around my um, flower beds. And uh, this way I just eliminate having to purchase mulch um, as I used to do for years, just uh, purchase loads and loads of mulch uh, for all of the flower beds. But uh, the free wood chips has been a blessing. It's a free resource and uh, it breaks down and provides nutrition uh, for your flowers and vegetables. And so I have been enjoying using uh, wood chips in my garden now. I think this is the third year. And so um, just wanted to come on and share with you. And I'll be taking you uh, to the different beds as we are working uh, to get these uh, nicely mulched up and looking good for summer of 2021. And of course, my garden girl, Ava, is helping me to um, plant some uh, hanging baskets and these hanging baskets uh, will be used along the uh, the run area of my chicken coop and of course these were some pots that I got from the recycled area at Lowe's and uh, because the chicken coop itself is in a shady area um, I have some begonias uh, which are shade loving plants uh, that are going to go on a couple of the uh, two by fours uh, in the run area. And as you can see, she's already done one for me right here. And uh, we have several more to go. I was able to find about six of these uh, all in the recycle bin at Lowe's. You're doing a great job, Ava. Thank you. and uh, moving right along to the next project. And as you can see, he is uh, getting around each of the flowers in the bed. And um, I've put cardboard all around the plants uh, so that uh, I can uh, suppress the weeds with the cardboard. And of course the cardboard is going to break down and so we'll be likely doing this every year or but at least it'll be easier to pull the weeds out uh, because of the wood chips. Um, but he is hacking at it and uh, I'm always showing you Ava in the garden but I uh, just wanted to share with you today that uh, my grandson Andre also helps out in the garden. He's been a big help to me um, in getting a lot of things done here on the homestead. Here's a weed here. So we've got a lot of mulching to do. This is a really large bed here that I've created. It's got several butterfly bushes, roses, and uh, a hydrangea, some hydrangea bushes in here. And look like the deer has been eating a lot of the tips off of the hydrangea bushes. 
and when I put down the cardboard guys I don't remove the tape um, because as it rains and the box is, uh, the cardboard gets wet the tape comes off so much easier at that point in fact it'll be on the top of the surface of your wood chips and I just remove it at that point uh, but when laying down the cardboard I don't go through the trouble of pulling all of the plastic off uh, because it will happen naturally anyway and so as you can see he's uh, making his way around and getting this done and when it's all done I'll come back and let you see what it looks like and as you can see here this bed has been nicely mulched special thanks to my grandson for helping out really appreciate all his hard work and uh, I'm going to end this video so hope that everyone is safe and blessed and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos God bless guys bye bye